Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, I hope that uh, you had a momentous uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, I hope you had a chance to spend time with family, um, to reconnect with people, um, to just have a moment to relax and to maybe try to treat this new year, even though it was unlike any other, as a chance to uh, start over or to reassess your goals uh, or to just, you know, refocus that energy into uh, being uh, more creative in this new year. And what's kind of amazing about this time is that um, since we started, you know, this pandemic, not like we didn't start it, but, you know, since the pandemic started, there was no point along the year in 2020 that we were able to uh, stop and look at our lives and say, okay, this is the perfect moment for me to reassess everything. Um, it it was something that I think all of us just did naturally because we were uh, all in lockdown and we had a chance to kind of look inward. And so we got to do it in that way. Um, but having to cross over into another year kind of allows for the the natural way in which all of us are used to making uh, resolutions and to uh, um, starting to change gears, uh, trying to find uh, things that we can uh, start from day one on January 1st and um, working towards them uh, to the end of the year. It was a hard thing to do. I, I, I'll i give you that. Uh, it didn't feel like uh, New Year's Eve at all. It didn't feel like we crossed over into another year. It uh, it, it still kind of feels like we're back in March. And uh, it's a very... It's, it's weird, um, to say the least. I, I mean, not, you know, not to say that I bought in completely to, uh, you know, having resolutions every year. Uh, there came a point where the whole idea of resolutions just didn't make any sense. And so I started to look at the year ahead as, okay, what can I work on? Or like what, it was more like a, I'm going to carry over what I've already been doing um, and just trying to see if I can do it better. And that's where, uh, you know, the, this, uh, New Year's Eve was also kind of different because um, even though I am carrying over a lot of stuff from 2020, it still feels like I can't really set any goals going into the new year. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. So we do have a vaccine that's on the way. Uh, We uh, do have some promise that eventually... Uh, we're all going to get vaccinated and that we'll be able to return to somewhat of a normal life. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I, I, so far, it seems like the people who have taken the vaccine uh, are still, uh, it's, there's, there's still some, some risk of, of getting, uh, you know, this virus. And so, it makes it uh, like having that piece of information. Uh, you know, I was I was trying to sit down and and put down my goals for the year, which is what I do every year. I have uh, you know three to five goals that I put down, like really big goals that I'm I'm trying to achieve for uh, the year, and you know these goals kind of roll over. 
uh, from year to year, depending on, on, you know, what they were or, you know, like they, they may be ongoing uh, goals that I'm, I really want to achieve. Uh, but it, it, it changes for the most part uh, every year. And I sat down uh, to do that this time, and I, I didn't know what exactly to expect. I like, th- there's usually this sense of like empowerment of, I'm gonna take the world by storm. You know the the you know the, it's a new year, it's a new me. You know all that kind of stuff. And I had none of that. I just looked at the list and I was like, well, the things I didn't accomplish in 2020. I guess I'm going to try to accomplish in 2021 and that's the least that I can expect from this new year because it doesn't seem like anything has changed and you know not that a switch flicks on you know when you know at at midnight or anything you know we're we're still in the same place we were uh in on New Year's Eve you know and and you know before that but uh, I just really, I thought it was interesting that um, that idea of being motivated into the new year, uh, I've been feeling uh, a lot of, like, I guess the, this, this hesitancy to go all in on my goals for 2021. And I don't know if anybody else is feeling the same way or if you know maybe it's this uh it's this idea that we all have to be cautious because we we thought that we were going to conquer this virus uh to to the point that all of us could kind of return to some kind of normal life and we've seen through 2020 that uh through the actions of of, of people who aren't taking it seriously or uh who are you know, just even when they they took it seriously and they still got the bug, they still got it. It's just, it's th- there's no way of knowing like what the future is going to hold, and so it seemed kind of weird to make any plans because we could seriously find ourselves at the end of 2021 in the same place, and that was just it was sad. Uh, to feel that way because I usually feel like I'm going to like accomplish something every year. Like I, I just, the, that, that moment where it's new year's Eve and yeah, uh, you know, it's, we, you know, we toast our glasses when, when the ball drops and, you know, it's like, all right, we can start fresh. And not only that, everybody else around me knows that, we're starting fresh like it's the expectation of the entire world of of, that if you are doing something different in january and february it's because you made a resolution it's like it's it's expected and people aren't going to look at you weird for uh wanting to try something new or to uh you know take up a habit that uh you know is unusual you know for you you know um it's it's a moment to be accepted for wanting to try something, uh, for wanting to change, for wanting to become a better person. And, um, you know, I, I guess it's not until like, uh, you know, March or April where, you know, if you're, if you're still holding on to your, you know, to that habit, to that resolution that, uh, people, you know, start to kind of like, you know, they, they're like, Oh, well you suck. Like you've, you, 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 you're actually doing the thing you set out to do. Ah, I hate that, (laughs) you know? Um, But, I mean, for the most part, a lot of us fall down after a couple months and, you know, never get back up uh, to, you know, to trying to accomplish that goal until the next New Year's, um, yeah, like, like comes around. Um, So, I think I don't know what to expect for this year. I, I I just I don't know what to expect, and the only thing I really know that I can do is to continue to to write every day, and e- even that I wasn't able to do uh, every day during 2020. 
it, it was like it was an emotional roller coaster, as I'm sure it was for all of us. And there were some days when I just felt useless. I felt like like any attempt to put words onto the page was like a selfish act. Like it, it like who who needs what I'm writing? Like who who needs these thoughts that are coming out of my head? It, like it seemed like nobody like n- n- nobody would care. And so I, you know, I had to go through that process of, of like coming back to it. And I, yeah, uh, eventually I did. And now I'm like, all right, it's 2021. The first, you know, like I'm recording this on, on January 1st. So I'm like, all right, this is the first day I got my writing in for the morning. And it's just going to build on that for the rest of the year. And I want to be at the end of the year, like l- looking at what I did for the year and, I, my goal has been to write every single day and I have not accomplished that yet. The, the, I've been very close, like maybe like, you know, 10 days, like overall that I, you know, through the span of 12 months, uh, that, uh, you know, I didn't sit down to write for one reason or, or like, like, or another. Uh, but I really want to try to do that this year. And now that, the shock of being in a pandemic has, uh, you know, subsided, so to speak. Now I can really focus on achieving that goal in 2021. And another goal that I'm, that I really want to try to accomplish is just, uh, honing my skills, uh, as a storyteller, uh, you know, I've started to get into, to a lot more editing. And so I'm doing that. And um, just like building those skills and, and making sure that, I, that I'm not stagnant in, in what I'm learning and, and, and my growth. Um, because I, 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 th- I think a, I, I got stagnant um, during 2020 because I was just in so much despair. Like I just, I just didn't want to do anything and I didn't want to grow even though I kept telling myself like we, I need to grow. I need to make sure that when uh, this lockdown is done that I can come out of it and I can be, um, you know, even more skilled at something than I was before or even more in shape Um, because I started running as well. And, and, you know, I I really tried to to hone other parts of my life um, so that I would come out of this thing uh, a lot better off. And, um, you know, that kind of fell apart. uh, But, you know, it's never too late to get to you know to get back to it. I'm planning to uh, to do the same thing you know this year, like to get back out there and start doing some running uh, to get into shape because I f- feel like I've been so lethargic that you know I'm really just I feel very unhealthy. I I, I feel like you know my body is kind of like just not not to the uh, state that it should be, and it's very worrisome. And I'm like you know. Okay, I gotta I gotta start exercising. I gotta start moving around um, because I've been stuck in the house all this time and I don't do much except you know sit at the computer or like watch TV or you know the the only kind of exercise I really get is like walking from one end of the house to the other uh, for chores or whatever. So uh, you know I'm trying to kind of treat this as a as a reset to all of those things, uh, all of those goals that I really. Um, like had in the middle of 2020 and trying to bring those into habits and trying to make it part of my life and really just make it something that's permanent and not as a result of the fact that I was bored or that, you know, there was nothing else to do. So guys, I, I really hope that, um, you know, you're coming into this new year, uh, motivated, uh, energized, uh, at least like having some weight kind of like, you know, off your shoulders for, for the moment so that you, you know, you can kind of progress towards some goals that maybe you didn't know that you had, uh, at, at the beginning of 2020, but then, you know, we had lockdowns and, and this pandemic and everything. And then, you know, you, you, you figured out that there was actually some other, uh, area of your life that you had goals for and and now you're like all right th- this is the perfect time to actually put 
like put it into place or if like if you've been thinking about it for the last nine months that you know you're like all right this is the perfect time to to you you know get going on this because uh it was a struggle during 2020 and there's some light at the end of the tunnel there's going to be a vaccine uh, at you that i can take at some point and uh, allow for some kind of normal life to come back, whatever that means anymore. Um, the the whole definition of, of of you know the normal life is you know been upended. Uh, so yeah, I, I just I I want the best for all of you guys. I I want to see that um, you know your goals are being accomplished. That you're becoming. Uh, more of like a productive uh, artist and, 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 you know, writer, filmmaker, whatever it is you're doing, just treating this time to really go after it. And especially because now that we know what living in a pandemic f- is and what it feels like, now we have the perfect opportunity to put the plan in, in, into place and to start going after those goals. And, to you know, it doesn't even have to be a big goal. It just, it needs like just something there's something that you can focus on that that you know until uh, until you're able to kind of like come back to to do whatever you were doing pre-pandemic you know um but heck on the other hand it maybe pre-pandemic was not not that great and so you know this has kind of given you a chance to reset everything and and you know it's like it's just uphill from here so uh uh all right guys um yeah, that that's all I got for today. I just wanted to, you know, start off this year, uh, you, you know, just really motivated uh, and really uh, trying to, you know, put some fire under my ass and put some fire under your ass to kind of like, you know, get things going and to to uh, approach things, uh, you, you know, in a positive light. Um, because, I mean, that's the that's all we can really do right now is just just keep going. Um, find things that, that bring us happiness and joy and to lean into those things and, um, you know, create things to share with one another, which like, I'm, I really want to do more of that this year. I really want to share more of what I'm doing and, and, you know, cause like being a writer is such a lonely th- thing to do. It's a lonely job. Um, but to create more content for you guys to, um, br- to have more things to share, um, you know, because like, yeah, I, I, it feels good to, to make something and to share it with the world. Uh, e- even if they reject it, it still feels good to, you know, be creative in, in that way and to, to, you know, put it out there. So, um, all right, guys, uh, without, uh, going into any further tangents, uh, I will, uh, be back next week and, uh, until then I'll talk to you on the next one. And also, if you want to connect with me, I have a email for the podcast. It's tentative.title.with.tim.podcast at gmail.com. Also, I have a Twitter account for the podcast where I post uh, episodes, and that is at title underscore Tim, and you can find also on the Facebook page, I have a uh, page for the podcast, so you can connect with me there. I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from all of you, and uh, until then, I'll catch you on the next one.